Hello, my name is Jamie and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Unlike any other YouTube channel that showcases Pokemon Go PvP content, mine exclusively showcases Shadow Pokemon. So, if you're into that type of content, I'd appreciate if you could like and subscribe. So, let's get into today's video. In today's video, we are looking at a Triple Shadow, Triple Shield Pressure Team. What I mean by that is all three Pokemon we are using all have access to a 35 energy charge move and all three of these are very good charge moves. We got Weather Ball on the Shadow Ninetales, we got Body Slam on the Celio, and then lastly, we have Shadow Blossom running Leaf Blade. That Bullet Seed Leaf Blade combination is not only lethal at 2.0 damage per energy, it's actually one of the most efficient moves in the game without a debuff effect. Blossom is a somewhat vulnerable pick as there's a lot of flyers, however, there's a lot of water as well, so it's kind of an anti-meta pick. We are going to lose RPS some games and win RPS some games. So we will be leading Shadow Ninetales for the duration of the video. And we are going to be utilising the big seal, Shadow Celio, on the safe swim. Offering a lot of shield pressure with that Powder Snow Body Slam Spam. So these battles are a few days old. They are in the early ranks. However, that doesn't mean we're against opponents that don't know what they're doing. You will see that I think at least two or three of the opponents out of the five are previous legends. So let's get straight into the battles. In game one, we pick up a lead against Cresselia. This is pretty good for us as long as they aren't running Future Sight. The fact they have switched immediately means they probably are on Grass Knot and Moonblast. As I said at the start of the video, this is a shield pressure team. So I do stay in as I know that we are going to be able to already pressure an early shield with nine towers. We get the extra fire spin through as well. We fire off this weather wall and immediately we do draw the shield. Then we say switch into the seal as we don't really want to eat grass knots from Cresselia. This will be a crunch. It should do around half our HP. However, as we're so spammy, we're going to outpace this Drapion to the body slam. They're already down one shield, so I highly doubt they're going to want to commit a second. One more powder snow and we're up a shield and we've got switch advantage. The strategy already is coming in clutch. They now bring in a man cargo. So I am going to build up towards the water pulse. They're already down one shield. A lot of Celios do run Aurora Beam. Water pulse is a trash move, but it is double super effective and it does take out the man cargo. Once again, the body spam spam is unreal. Celio putting in so much work. We get off a body slam against this Cresselia. We switch out. And the opponents had enough and they back out so ggs to that opponent the energy generation of the team and the really good charge moves just put so much pressure we managed to take that game in quick succession so moving on into game two of the video we pick up a mirror match obviously our nine towers isn't on side shock so we can't hit them for anything other than resisted we are both building up a lot of energy and i do go for the extra move Overheat will really hurt and obviously we have got the energy for it so I do shield it up. They actually bait us with a weather ball which isn't ideal and now they switch out. The fact that I've got so much additional energy I am just going to throw the overheat to soften up this rainy cast form and now I'm going to look to completely bullet seed down. Cast form can't hit us for anything other than resisted. So we've now got it into a nice range where we are going to have to farm down and leave with a lot of loaded energy. You can already see we're almost at their back-to-back -back leaf blade. So should that nine tails come back in, they are going to be absolutely spammed with charge moves. I can see the fire spin animation come through. So we fire off a leaf blade. Leaf blade is such a good move that even resisted, it is going to do huge damage. I fire off one more bullet seed. So they're trying to line our fast moves and I fire off the second leaf blade. You can see leaf blade does around 33%. So not only do we get rid of that cast form, we've already got the opposing nine towers down to around one third health. They actually undercharge that move, so it's a nice play on their part. Once again, they make a switch out. This time, they're going to catch the weather ball. Let's see what it lands on. Weather ball lands on the wish cash. So once again, we are going to bring in the Celio. The powder snows do more than the mod shots, and we're actually really spammy as we've got a 35 energy move. It's actually cheaper than mod bomb, which is 40. So you can see these powder snows are really adding up and the seal is really thick. So at no stage yet are we pressured to give away our final shield. Mob Bomb lands but still it hasn't done too much. We managed to get to yet another body slam. Let's see if the Wish Cash is prepared to shield. They don't shield. I'm now going to fire off this next body slam just before they get to a Mod Bomb. Now the opponent has got the decision to make. Do they want to shield this up or do they want to let it go? They actually let it go and we're only one powder snow away from the next body slam. 
Once again, you can see there, we didn't charge our timing particularly well, but I did want to draw the last shield. We now switch out into nine tails. All I've got to do now is under tap. You can see that there, we've got the animation. I don't successfully under tap. You love to see it. I didn't actually touch the screen. We fire for another weather ball, but it doesn't really matter as this weather ball is going to be enough to take that game. You can see the spinning wheel of death in the left corner. Despite not actually touching anything for a second and hitting weather ball, we still do a fire spin animation. Luckily for us, it doesn't cost us the game. So off to a 2-0 start. Moving on into the next battle, we pick up a kind of neutral lead against Knockdown. Obviously our Blossom really, really doesn't want to see this. We are building up towards the overheat and we are going to bait with a weather ball. Let's see if the opponent shields. So once again, we do get the early shield pressure. We're now building up once again towards the overheat. You can see these wing attacks have really chunked us down. So I am going to have to shield this sky attack up. I don't want to give away too much energy or too much health, I should say. And now fire off this overheat. The opponent actually goes down two shields, which is crazy. We now switch out into the Celio and they've got a nine tails in the back. This can only be a weather ball as they've only built up four fire spins, so I don't have to shield this up. Neutral weather ball does do around half our main HP. And I now go for this water pulse. As we said previously, water pulse is a trash move. However, it does do enough damage to put them into powder snow downrange. They now bring out yet again another mud boy and this body slam should do a nice bit of chip damage. You can see that Wish Cash is super popular in this cup. They are unfortunately committing to the mud shot down, which isn't great for us. We now get another body slam off and now I make an aggressive swap into Blossom. And this is where you're going to see me throw the match. I've got zero reason to shield this. All I've got to do is let it go down. We get baited. They switch out into the knockdown and Sky Attack is going to probably one shot. We actually survive a couple of HP. And this Leaf Blade is going to do next to nothing as it is resisted due to the flying typing. So I am going to lose this matchup. You can see a few mistakes were made. I did swap out into the Blossom as I didn't want to get uh, farmed down. Obviously the correct play was just to sack it as that Blossom has absolutely no play against the Knockdown. I don't manage to do that successfully. So you can see unfortunately we are going to lose this match. So you've got to learn from your mistakes. It was a good play to switch out and not get farmed down. However, bringing the Blossom out and shielding it was absolutely crazy. I don't know why I did that play, but you love to see it and you can learn from my mistakes. So moving on into the next battle, we pick up a lead against Reggie Steel. This is pretty much the dream lead. They switch out once again into Wish Cash. Wish Cash Blossom is a fairly good matchup. The Leaf Blade will near one shot. However, if they get towards Blizzard, they will also one shot us back. So I am counting mod shots. They are at nine. This could be the Blizzard. I expect they're going to bait, which they do. However, we should outpace them now to this second Leaf Blade. And at this stage, I am going to be happy to get both shields and allow my Blossom to go down. So we do draw both shields. Now that once again, they're going to be at the Blizzard as they, they did bait the first time. This is the Blizzard. However, I'm happy to take shield advantage. Celio has a fairly decent match up here. We're not going to shield anything and we are going to look to try and get ahead on energy. Mod Bomb once again does around 33%, nothing to worry about. And we are looking to commit to the Powder Snow down. We are going to have to eat another Mod Bomb, but I know I don't really need HP on Celio. I just want energy for whatever's in the back. I aggressively snipe with nine tails. Let's see what they've got in the back. In the back is a Toxicroak. So I'm going to shield this move up. This will be a Mud Bomb. We're going to get towards 100 energy and we're just going to obliterate absolutely everything. So this first move will take the Toxicroak out. Actually, it's one short, one more Fire Spin. We've got the Overheat loaded. Out comes the Reggie Steel and the opponent doesn't want to see themselves get nuked. So after a real bad misplay in game number three, in game number four, we pick it back up and once again pick up the dub. Moving on into the fifth and final battle, we pick up a lead against Shift Tree. Obviously, this is brilliant. They now switch out into Politoed. So you saw this matchup last time. Politoed and Wishcash have fairly similar movesets. Obviously, this is going to be running Weather Ball instead of Mod Bomb, which is still resisted and uh, could have Blizzard or they could have Earthquake. The fact they're thrown after eight, I knew it wasn't a Blizzard as you need nine for that. So we do tank the Earthquake successfully. 
And they now come out with a Metagross. So some absolute spice by the opponent. Metagross does resist all of our charge moves, but Leaf Blade is such a good move. If they do commit to the farm down, they're gonna have to eat free. And one of these is definitely gonna draw the shield as free will KO. Two's got them deep into the red. We actually get to the third, Shadow Blossom putting in absolute work. Like I said at the start of the video, the shield pressure is unreal. I do attempt to snipe with the seal. The resisted powder snow doesn't do enough damage. I'm not gonna shield this up. We will survive a neutral uh, meteor mash and these powder snows are gonna hit for super effective and we are just gonna start spamming the opponent with body slam. They're already down one shield. They're looking like they're trying to commit to the snarl down. They're unsuccessful and Celio powder snows down the rest of the team. So GG's to that opponent. So you can see that we did have some unfavorable matchups and despite the huge misplay in game three, I could have went a perfect 5-0. Just the fact that we're able to get early shield advantage and we've got such hard hitting moves in the back, such as Dazzling Gleam and Overheat, you can pretty much turn a lot of these unfavorable matchups into favorable ones. If you see something like a Wish Cash, Overheat still does around 45% despite it being resisted. So if you can get shields down, you can flip them unfavorable matchups. Would I recommend this team? Uh, not really. I think Shadow Blossom is really difficult to use in this meta. However, I am a big fan of Shadow Celia. And my next video is going to be a run of 12 straight wins that I am using Shadow Celia. So stay tuned for that one. And I'd just like to say thanks for watching. And I will see you all in that next video.